At the end of World War II, British intelligence had its own version of Operation Paperclip called the T-Force. Top scientists and technicians were abducted by force and put to work for the British government and private industry in an attempt to give them competitive advantage. As well as having their own version of Paperclip, they also had their own version of MKUltra that started in the 1950s, the full extent of which is still unknown to this day. In 2006, the Secret Intelligence Service MI6 paid thousands of British military servicemen who were given LSD against their will and secret mind control programs conducted at the Portant Down Research Facility under the guise of a program they were told was testing a cure for the common cold. Founded in 1916, Portant Down is the oldest biological and chemical warfare facility in the world. They have used humans as test subjects without their consent more times than I can mention, including using nerve gas on civilian populations. They are also one of the few facilities that had COVID in their lab prior to the pandemic aren't even discussed as a possible source by proponents of the lab leak theory. However, when you look at just what's been proven that they have done, testing biological weapons on unknowing British citizens and dosing soldiers with LSD without their knowledge, Horton Down should not be overlooked. They've also been rumored to be involved in human cloning experiments as well as a human-alien hybridization program. Their human testing programs seem to have targeted lower class populations in the north of Britain, in Manchester, Liverpool, and Birmingham. Thank <laughs> you.